There was a tweet before we get to the break, and this will um, the break will sort of uh, provide an intermission on this subject. Now I know you're big on this, but I'm sure you saw Harry Mackay's tweet um, I did. on the 9th of this month concerning player names on the back of jumpers. Now Harry Mackay, the Carlton Coleman medalist, tweeted. Surely names on the back of jumpers have to be revisited in the AFL and AFLW. Just about the only team sport in the world that doesn't do it. Even Test Cricket does it now. A no-brainer to help grow the game. Now, you brought this to Drive's attention with uh, your old sparring partner, Andy Martin. It didn't go down too well. No, no. uh, He's a bit of a traditional old Andy. Um, I'm not. I don't think it, it desperately has to happen, but yeah, we do look around that. We do look around the world, and we see names on the back of of um, jerseys and guernseys and jumpers and whatever players wear. We see. I don't like. I actually don't like the the look of the big clunky numbers and names in the test matches. I think that looks a little bit um, a little bit silly. I think the class of test cricket, and you've got players running around wearing sixty nine and eighty nine and forty four. But I, I, I can't really see the reason why. Now we've got a sponsor sitting in the, in the, in the spot that a, mm. a player's name would be, a surname. I think it would certainly sell more jumpers. And, um, yeah, I can't, see why, I can't see why we shouldn't have names on the back of jumpers, just as the reigning Coleman medalist says. I can't uh, understand why it wouldn't be a hit either. I think it'd be mm. one of those things that would only help the game. Um, I don't see it as a crushing blow to the traditional elements of the game. Oh, come on. This is no day grand final debate. This is just a a printed name on the back of a jumper. So I think it would be uh, a welcome addition to the game. And and as uh, Harry Mackay says, grow it as well, particularly with the younger generation of fans who, um, you know, can relate more to their player. And as you say, would probably boost sales as well. Who doesn't love running around with a player's name on their back? I I recall a little bit of criticism from uh, from we in the media when when I think it was the cats had their Twitter handles on their warm up tops instead of their surnames they had their Twitter handles and we when I was playing with the crows we had our nicknames on our warm up tops and we got a little bit of criticism about that oh you're not taking yourselves too seriously having your nicknames on your warm up tops well the last time I checked if that if those sorts of things impact the way you play footy if having a surname on the back of a jumper has any impact negatively on the game then I'll dead set give up what about the cats what do you call it what I don't even know what you'd call it the, the t-shirt t- the t-shirt guernsey yeah surely I, that was a fashion faux pas I love it oh turn it up you can't have sleeves what who sa- says who says me can't have sleeves. <laughs> tell that to tell that to Stevie Milne or tell that to James Hurd. No, the sleeves. long sleeves. That's fine. I'm talking okay, about your so little long, t-shirt option here. So What's long sleeves that? is long sleeves is fine, but a normal t-shirt. You're trying to create is, a niche in the market, which is what we wear every single day of our lives is no good. I just wondered why that had to be done. And as a player, were you sort of happy to wear the t-shirt? Oh, I, I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Did you? Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I would love your feedback on the names on the back of the jumpers as well. I know it's a bit of a well-worn topic, but it's been refueled by Harry Mackay. Um, and I think especially now that cricket's uh, jumped that hurdle as well. Um, yeah. I don't love that, but I understand why they do it. Yeah, it's a, it, The only reason it, it looks a bit clunky, but also in cricket, you don't necessarily... People, I haven't ever seen anyone walking around with a... A, a white uh, no, a that's white a polo with yeah. Joe Root's name on the that's back. That's a different. That's a different sport. I, I don't think that's a that's a sport whereby people get around with the go to the game with the test tops on. Do that. That's not sort of uh, mm. what tends to happen. But I think it would work. How does a name on a jumper help grow the game? Think about it, guys. That's from Daryl. Well, not everyone knows the names of the players at the end of the day, Daryl. Particularly kids who are watching the game. Um, I just think it enhances the brand of the, the player, um, embraces, uh, embraces sort of the romance of the game. And as I said, who doesn't love running around with uh, their favourite player and their name on uh, on their back? Have you seen it though? one three hundred seven three six seven three six, or drop us a text 433 98 We'll be back with more on Summer Breakfast right after this break. Mixed feedback on the uh, names on the back of the jumpers idea. We'll just uh, tidy it off. Expected. Uh, JJ, society <laughs> has enough narcissists. We don't need names on jumpers. This is nothing more than players wanting more attention oh, to jack on. up their value or to claim more money for their jumper sales like in soccer. Blimey. Nah, names on the back of the jumper for me. And definitely take the names and numbers off the test cricketers. Look silly. That's from Lou. Chris, JJ, in the UK, they wear test whites around with their names on it. Looks horrible. 
Uh, would be awesome, though, for growth of women's game to help us know yes. the players. Hey, guys, I like the idea of the footy players being named on the jumper, but the cricketers' big numbers are shockers. They look like the caddies at Augusta National. Cheers. That's from Ginge in West Croydon. Mm. I'm all for it, says Clarky, especially at the start of the season when you got new blokes running around that you don't know the names of. The number is the identifier. No need for a name. Part of the fun is checking the footy record and becoming familiar with new players and their numbers as they come in. Ben in Kingsville, love the names on the back of the jumper idea. The only question is, does Dusty go with Dusty or Martin? And when Messi signed at PSG, they sold out of his jumper in seconds. A name does sell. I, I, I'm I, surprised that we got a... That's, that's a bit of support there for a, you. A pro, yeah, that's pro names on... Pro names on uh, on jumpers, so yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with that feedback. It's not my idea by any stretch of the imagination. But you're I'm passionate. Just, you're passionate about it. You drive. I'm just in the corner of um, the, the 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 angle. The first texter about oh, we don't want narcissistic players and you know arrogance and that. It's actually going to work in an opposite fashion because there's a lot of young players. Look at Darcy Fogarty running around in Adelaide, thinking, look at all these guys wearing 32 guys and girls. It's Patrick Dangerfield, Mark Rusciuto. They're not wearing it because of Darcy Fogarty. There you go. The Tyson Stengel over there thinks he's uh, thought he was the most popular small forward <laughs> in the game. Uh, it's because you inherited Eddie Betts' number. So <laughs> whoever that texter was, it will in fact keep a few of these boys in line. Yeah, indeed.